how are you guys hope you guys are doing great y'all it's early i'm on my way to work i'm tired <laughs> but i just want to open up the vlog to say hey i hope you guys are doing great my name is Quentin. this is the sweet life of queen welcome you guys it has been snowing and it's still snowing a little bit but it's been snowing all day since yesterday and it's gonna snow the rest of the week the whole weekend too Y'all, y'all, my friends is bogus. Like they live in Florida and in the South, and they keep putting up. Somebody just put up a post talking about the only thing I want to shovel is sunshine or something. I'm like, I hope a whole bunch of snow just come your way. <laughs> is that me, y'all? Oh my gosh, I just love the coffee shop jitters to give me something to drink, yeah, something warm. But I'm like y'all stop doing this like we like we want the snow i don't like snow okay what's the weather like in your area let me know comment down below and let me know y'all baby killing me y'all acting like and then my one friend she messaged me last night she lived in mississippi and she's like hey sis how you doing how's the weather in your area and i'm like it's snowy <laughs> I'm like, how's the weather in your area? She's like, well, we got rain. We don't have snow, so that's good. I'm like, girl, yeah. I'm so over the snow, y'all, but <laughs> it's January, the end of January, so it's just getting started. But anyway, y'all, let me go on in here, knock out this shift, and then I will talk to you guys later. I want to cook something for dinner today. Actually, it's something I haven't cooked in a long time. I, I think I'm going to redeem myself, but I'll tell you guys about that later because it's a joke between me and my sister. But tonight I'm making some um, chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. You guys, I have not made that in a long time. Long, 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 long time. And I'll tell you the story about that later. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all in a bit. So tonight, guys, we're going to make some chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. I had some chicken thighs, and I took the skin off and seasoned it well and baked it. Then I cut up some bell pepper and onion, diced it kind of small. Yeah, I needed some flavor in this dish. I have not made this dish in so long, so I am super excited about it. Because I have a different way of how I did it the first time. So we're just going to debone this chicken and chop it up as small as we can. So I'll tell you our veggies, and you guys know I make instant rice, so I did it in the microwave. And now for our sauce. We're using heavy whipping cream. Let's season that bad baby up with any spices that you like, and add the cheese, y'all. We're making our own cheese sauce. So we have our rice, our broccoli, chicken, and veggies, and we're going to mix it all together with our cheese sauce. I use um, Fiesta Mexican Blend and Kobe, but you can use whatever cheese that you want. Yeah, so we're just going to pour this cheese over it, and yes, 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 it's so good, you guys, but um, I didn't have enough liquid to it, I want it to be juicy, I don't want to be, you don't want no dry casserole, girl, so I added a little bit of chicken broth to mine that I had left from my chicken thighs that I baked in the oven, and then we're going to mix this all around, bake it in the oven after we add some cheese on it, top. Yes, baby. Got to have our cheese. I didn't have that much, but anyway. <laughs> Baked it in the oven 400 until it was hot and bubbly. And you guys, it was fire. So good. I'm so glad I finally redeemed myself. I'm going to tell you how I redeemed myself right now. Okay, y'all. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for a crazy story time? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so like you said, I have to redeem myself because once upon a time, there was a young teenager girl who was like 17 who thought she knew how to cook. <laughs> I didn't know how to cook. However, I just started working as a DSP um, for like Easter Seals and I worked in a group home. Well, there was this lady who made um, cream, no, she made chicken and rice broccoli casserole. So 
I thought I knew how to make it, y'all. So I decided for Thanksgiving one year, I was like, oh my gosh, I was just cooking up like everything. Now, everything else tasted good for Thanksgiving, except this one dish. <laughs> this is when I discovered that I did not know how to make rice. Y'all, my rice, I made way too much rice, first of all. And it was crunchy. Yeah, the struggle, okay? I mean, it was half cooked, half crunchy. And I don't know, you would have thought when it baked, it would have got softer, but it did not for me. I don't know what the struggle was, but sis was struggling, okay? So, yeah. So, my family, like, made fun of me about this dish. Again, I was making, like, a whole bunch of other dishes for Thanksgiving. Those all turned out great, except this one recipe. And then, for some reason, I feel like we used Cheese Whiz on it. In it, I should say. Um, so, yeah. I said, I'm going to make my own cheese sauce. I'm not buying canned cheese to put in this recipe. But, you know, there's a lot of different versions of it. So, I just don't know why it didn't turn out right for me. Like I said, half of my family did eat it and they was like okay with it. But my sister to me, because she gives me a hard time. She still joke about it. Whenever I mention the word rice and broccoli and chicken casserole, honey, she's like, Lord, you gonna make that again? Do you remember when you made it before? And it was horrible. I was like, it wasn't horrible. Horrible, horrible. But you know. So anyway, this time I am so proud of myself because it was actually edible. <laughs> no it was really really good y'all it was fire like fire and james he's so picky he do not like mixed stuff he don't like casseroles he don't because i don't know what his mama fed him because this man drives me crazy he is so picky but let me tell you he loved it he killed it first he was looking at me like why you keep making all these weird dishes but then i was like just taste it and then, you know, I was a little nervous because I ran out of cheese because I put, like, extra cheese in the sauce. And I didn't buy another bag of cheese. So, I'm like, it is what it is. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? But it turned out great, y'all. It was delicious. So, I am so proud of myself. So, if you guys make it, let me know what you think. I, you know, I always said, um, I never thought to make my own sauces. or Like, even with spaghetti sauce and stuff, Alfredo sauce. I always just buy it but it's really easy to make it so i want to do both i'm going to still buy because <laughs> some days i'm just going to be wanting to do all that extra cooking just open up a jar and pour it in and be done you know we do cooking easy around here simple okay we keep it simple <laughs> but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoy cooking with me tonight i know this video wasn't quite long i just wanted to cook something hearty because it's cold it's snowy here and I like something to stick to the bones, girl, you know? So anyway, if you did enjoy cooking with me tonight, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below to let me know. And I will see you guys on the next video. I love you guys. You guys are so amazing. I, I truly do. I really do love you guys, okay? All right, so you guys have a great night. I will talk to you guys on the next video. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you want me to try to cook, let me know. I'll do it, okay? All right, bye!